Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove distortion from your photos using the adaptive wide angle filter. So the adaptive wide angle filter is basically a filter that will allow you to take lines that are curved in like this. You can see this line right here is curved, uh, tilting in a little bit. Same with this one. Uh, and it allows you to draw lines to help uh, tell the photo where these lines are supposed to be straight and uh, Photoshop will work its magic and make them uh, magically straight for you. It's very, very fun, very easy filter to use. So to get to that filter, you just go up to the top here and go to filter and then click on adaptive wide angle. This is a, a feature that is available on some of the latter versions of Adobe Photoshop. Uh, so if you have like a Adobe uh, CS5 and back, uh, most likely it's not going to be there. But if you have the CC versions or, or, or Photoshop 6, uh, those will be available. This filter will be available for you. So I'm just going to click on the adaptive wide angle. And it opens up in this box here. And it looks a little uh, looks a little strange because you have a, a thumbnail view on this side. So you can kind of see uh, where your cursor is. And that's going to be helpful in just a second. Uh, you also have some, some uh, automatic corrections here. I, I usually leave it on auto. auto does a very good job of trying to help straighten out the photo uh, but you can play with the different kinds here you got fisheye perspective uh, full spherical full spherical never really works for me uh, but uh, I either keep it on auto or perspective so for this tutorial I'm gonna keep it on auto and you can see that uh, over here you have a couple buttons uh, that you can choose from here uh, and you're mainly going to concentrate on the constraint tool right here so what we're going to do is we're going to draw some lines on here and tell Photoshop where these lines need to be straight. And so I'm going to click at the top of this door frame because this is one of the troubled areas here. I'm going to click at the top of this door frame and click and drag down. And you can see I have a blue line. You can also see that the line actually follows the curve of the wall there. That's not a perfectly straight line. So I'm going to click right here and uh, you can see how it uh, how, how it follows the line there but one trick here is if you if you just click and let go here at the bottom of the the wall it straightens it up but your your line is still crooked uh, so what you need to do is draw the same line but hold the shift button on your keyboard so I'm gonna click and hold the shift button you can see now I have a pink line instead of a blue line and when I do that and I release it tell the Photoshop tells the photo that this portion of the area needs to be per perfectly straight up and down so I'm gonna do that and you can see it shifts the photo a lot more than with just doing the regular constraint so now I'm gonna do this to the other areas I'm gonna go over here hold shift because I want this area to be perfectly straight same thing over here and I'm just going to kind of guess where the wall ends here. So I'm just going to do it right there, perfectly straight. And uh, let's see, where's some other areas we can do? Uh, we can make sure the legs are straight on the table, this area. Same thing, we're just kind of finessing it. The more lines you draw, the more information you give Photoshop, the better your photo will turn out. Uh, I'm just going to do the painting area over here just to make sure that's good. All right, so now you're asking yourself probably where do you use the uh, regular constraint with the blue line? Uh, it would be on areas like this. So I'm just going to draw a line all the way across. You can see it contours with the wall. And I'm going to release, and you can see it straightens that area up. Same thing here. I'm just going to draw a line right there. Uh, do another bookshelf one. This one I'm going to make it a straight version. Holding shift. Uh, this one do the same. Hold shift here. Okay, and so now we we everything looks pretty good, but the boards on the floor are looking a little warped. You can see they come in and then they they turn out this way. I'm gonna do a blue line there, so I'm just gonna click and drag, follow the groove in the floor here. I'm gonna click all the way over there, and you can see it straightens it up really nicely. Uh, work everything's working really well. I'm just gonna do this right here, try to straighten up a little bit. So for the most part, that actually looks pretty well. I'm gonna do one more here on the side. All right, so for the most part, it looks really great. Uh, the only couple issues we have here are the areas where there's no data. This is a transparent area. This is the way the photo is bent, so it's going to be like this. So there, you have a couple options. You can actually get your clone stamp tool and try to fill this in manually. Uh, this my area might over here might be easy enough to do that with just because it's just straight lines and colors. This one might be a little bit more difficult, so you have a couple options here. You can scale this up like that to try to get rid of those areas or you can go back out and just click OK and you're going to accept the changes and now you can crop in where you want to crop in so I'm just going to click the crop tool and just drag in here to where I don't have any blank areas 
right there. So the, the wider you shoot your photo, the better you'll be if you have to uh, get rid of a bunch of distortion like this. And so I'm just going to click OK. And there we go. That is our finished photo with the distortion removed. Everything looks perfectly straight, perfectly aligned. So here is our before and after. So that's the before. And you can see how all the, the distortion is there. This was a wide angle lens and everything is all distorted, tilting, tilting in. And then you have our after here, which does take away a little bit of the photo, but you have zero distortion almost. Uh, it's a very, very nicely uh, level photo. So hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on the adaptive wide angle filter in Photoshop. Head on over to sleeklens.com for more uh, photography tutorials, Photoshop actions, Lightroom presets. Very cool stuff over there. This has been Jordan from sleeklens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.